Hello everyone, welcome again to Tech UK. With me, I've got Mark Puck, who is the product manager for the sim racing at Corsair. Correct. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? So we've got in nice and early. As you can see, there's literally no one here, which is fantastic. So we can have yep. a nice chat with you about these fantastic new looking sim rigs. So should we start off with sort of like the rally stroke GT sort of setup? Yes. You've got Gran Turismo connected up here. Yeah, Tell yeah. me about the rig your role in making the rig and what it's all about well my story starts like 20 years ago so i started sim racing around 20 years ago and uh over the years i've built many many rigs from scratch yeah and something always bugged me about most of the rigs there was always one thing that was missing or it just okay. wasn't done right so i put all my experience into the design and designed it from a sim racer's point of view so yeah we have uh, cable management that goes through both sides of the frame. You can hide most of your cables. I was going to say, I can't really see any cables no. standing here. Yeah, and um, the design is uh, modular as well, so we can add accessories or remove accessories, yes. whatever you yeah. like. Yeah. Uh, the frame will be in two sections. So the front part with the main uh, bracing in it yeah. is one half, and then the rear half is joined in that middle section with the yellow oval. Yeah. So that creates the, the single tube or the single frame, sorry. And then if you look at it from if you looked at it from the back, yep. you can see that the both frames are flat and they're leaning inwards. So we're based on the principle of a triangle. Yes. So that gives you the maximum lateral strength. Okay. The sim rig will not shake or no, move. No, it does feel sideways. very strong, extremely strong. Yeah, it's designed to take a twenty seven Newton meter wheelbase. Okay. And up to hundred and fifty kilo pedal. How does it compare so. with a normal, shall we say, aluminium profile rig in terms of strength? It, it's probably stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and it's speaking, a lot better for design, isn't yeah, it? It you, looks, it, it's got the look of a sort of a, yeah. a frame of a car almost, Correct. isn't it? The 50 mil tube just gives it a, a, a really nice appearance and yeah. it looks more like a roll cage. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. It looks like a roll cage. Of course it yeah. does. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. And then you'll notice the accessory bars on the, the, the smaller uh, diameter tube. yes they have a t-channel in them and you can add uh, a shift amount to this that we have you can also add um, a pc tray that's coming you can put speakers on there yeah. anything with a t-nut you can adjust yeah, or, yeah sorry anything. add to yeah. it yeah um, and your monitor stand is well, what, what size tv is that this size is a 65 inch 65, OLED. yeah so that's it's it's very sort of uh, hidden there, isn't it? It really yes. doesn't look like you've got a huge monitor mount for a massive TV. No, it it's melts blended into itself the, yeah. in, isn't it? Yeah, it melts is, into the frame, which is yeah. the idea that it looks like it's part of one. Yeah. And also, is this seat an actual Corsair seat now? This seat is a Corsair seat. Well, yeah. it's a Corsair design seat. Yeah. And it's a two-piece bucket seat. And the reason we went for the two pieces is that we can optimize our packaging yeah which is important if you're shipping worldwide absolutely yeah. absolutely yes worldwide shipping yeah and uh, you'll see that the the top half just fits into the bottom half the bottom half is where the strength is required when you're uh, breaking quite hard when you're pushing back on it yep. yeah so that gives you a good a good um, sense of confidence while you're driving that you know the seat's not going to fail on you what about adjustment because I've got a profile rig <clears> and it's set up for me so if yes. anyone comes in, I have to unbolt everything, move it for them. What's your adjustment like on something like Our this? adjustment on these, maybe you want to get a close-up of the handles. Yeah. Those handles are a type of a ratchet handle, yeah. so you pull them towards you and you can position them wherever you like and yeah. then loosen or tighten the, uh, the bolts up. Um, we designed the seat brackets themselves to fit most racing seats. Yeah. So 294 millimetres. So you can put your own seat in you there. You could put you your own one. seat if you had one. Yeah. And the idea is that we um, undo the handles, move them to the vertical slots. Yeah. And then you can choose how high or low you want it. Mm. And then also the angle is uh, cho chosen as well. So you can yeah. start off with the lowest and then go up one and that gives you a sort of an upright position. Yes. And then the more you lean it back, the more it's going towards F1 the formula style. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's a toolless operation. Toolless operation. And same, same with, with the, the pedals. Yeah. Same with the pedals. Yeah. Oh, so you can just you un undo these and you can slide, slide forward oh, and back. Brilliant. Yep. Yeah. And then yeah. we also have a tilt adjustment on it. Yeah. And for wheelbases that are quite large, we also have an extra set of holes on the brackets on the side there. Yeah. And you can lower that by about two centimeters. Mm. So, so if you have really a really nice big design. one. Yeah. Really nice design. It's super rigid. Give it a push on the side. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's very to, strong. You, I mean, you'd have to really yeah be yeah. 
quite violent with it to, yeah. to get it to go. On the front, there's a PC tray. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so very good. It's yeah. also adjustable. Yeah. And all it does is bolts onto the top panel that's already on there. So Brilliant. we take two bolts out and we can bolt that on. It just rests on the frame. Mm. There's a curved bracket that sits on the frame, so there's no damage. And then the um, the tray can be adjusted outwards if you have a large PC case. Yeah. Or you want to put your console. Have you on. got any sort of insula like rubber insulation there for vibrations and stuff on the train? Uh, there's not really many vibrations coming from yeah, the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, very nice. So you've yeah. you thought about the detail, haven't yes. you? That's what you've done. Yeah, I've gone into just about every facet of it. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned um, adjusting the thing and t uh, hopping in and out and yeah. trying to change positions. Well, we have, uh, you'll see there's markings on, on the yeah, frame. Yeah, 100, 200. Yeah. yeah, so we have those markings and we'll also have a set of um, reusable stickers. So you know your setting. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. if you want like uh, to set it up formula style and yeah. GT style. Yeah, you've got two settings. You can, so. you can mark it like that. And, yeah. Or you have a friend that wants to try it, you can set his stickers on the spot they yeah. need. Yeah, of course, yeah. And then you get the, a, a really quick adjustment. We're talking about seconds, Yeah. not minutes or even... Yeah. Know, one thing I do like is the fact that it's Corsair, but Corsair haven't plastered their name all over it. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> are these prototypes? These are, well, these are going towards mass production, so okay. um, the branding hasn't been finalised. Okay, so we, should, we could end up with Corsair written down the side. You could, yes. I like the subtleness of what it is yeah. at the moment. It's very understated. but it, it, That's what it is, it's yeah. understated. They but know they've got a good yeah. product, they put their name on the side. Yeah, yeah. and we, we ensured that it was... The most uh, most important feature for us is adjustability yeah. and strength. Yeah. So those two would be at the top of the chart mm. for uh, most sim races as well. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we found that out during the Gamescom. Yeah. That we can adjust everything so quickly that for each people, person. Yeah. Yeah. So I have had people from like under five foot to over two meters tall. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about this one. This is set up currently for a sort of uh, formula style setup. Correct. Is it the same rig without exactly the monitor the stand? Actually, the standard rig is probably more clo uh, closer to this one. Yeah. The only addition is this accessory here. Okay. The, um, the, the slider, shifter yeah. tube, yeah. yeah. But this frame will also come with the onboard monitor mount. I was going to say, so you, you, you can just buy the rig and put your monitor yeah. straight on and it. And then you can start that's racing. that's such a perfect position, isn't it? Yes. Because the amount of times you get a rig, you get a monitor bracket and the monitor has to come up here somewhere. Correct. That's a perfect position. Yeah. The, the advantage of this is that you can, with the ultra wides, you can even go to 55 inch. This is a yeah. 49 inch. Yeah. But you could go to 55 inch if you really wanted that windscreen feel. And again, you can't move that. Not can really, you? no. Yeah. And you is that the same seat? Just same seat. Same seat in black. Mm. We have uh, four slots on the front yeah. and zero on the back. Yeah. And that gives you, it doesn't look it, but when you sit in it, yeah. it's a really laid back position. Yeah, very, and we've, very cool. We've also raised the pedals up. So it's almost like the pedals come in like almost like a cage and you can put them wherever you want. Correct. This, um, this pedal adjustment slider thing, or slider mechanism here, uh, comes pre assembled. Yeah. So the end user won't have to uh, like mess around with getting it set up. It's yeah. already set up for them. Um, it will be horizontally mounted, the pedal plate. Because mm. a lot of the pedals these days are vertical, yeah. you know, like individual yeah, yeah, pedals yeah. vertically mounted. Yeah. So we can do that. We can also, you'll notice there's an extra bracket. Yes, on top, yeah. Yeah, that bracket can be switched around and we can turn this into an inverted mount. Okay. So we just, <clears throat> excuse me, we reuse the, um, the pedal plate and we just flip it upside down. Yeah. And it then hangs like this. It looks like you've, like I say, you've gone into into every corner of the ang uh, every corner of the sim rig and try to improve absolutely yeah and put your own stamp on there and then also on the front you'll notice the power supply for the wheelbase is in its own holder oh okay. so it's off yeah, the floor yeah 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 mine's on the floor yeah so <laughs> off the floor yeah mine's on the floor not gathering dust yeah so yeah and all the cables come like i said co can go through the frame so oh yeah they actually go through the frame yeah, that's really so cool. So there's one here, there's one where the PC tray is. Yeah. There's another one here. And then underneath there's one where the shifter would be and another one at the back for butt kickers or tactile yeah, yeah. transducers. Yeah. Lovely. And then you've got your and then our masterpiece. Setup, your yeah. masterpiece. And it really is as well. Yeah, it really is. It's a it's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah, so this, tell me about this the difference is the here. Rig. Obviously, the the rig itself is the same as the other two. It's exactly the same. Yeah. So what's the difference? Is it the triple monitor setup? Yeah, the triple monitor just sets this one apart. We also yeah. have the upper accessory mounts here. Yeah. 
also yep. with the T channel in it. Yeah, you can put so you can add Elgato, uh, Elgato yeah. Stream Deck, or yeah. um, if you want to, you could put a streaming camera there if you like. Yes, or even yeah. a microphone. Mm. And as far as the um, monitor stand goes, it's actually the same monitor stand as the one behind the LG TV. Oh, okay. Um, but we we swap out this bar. Yep. For a longer one. Yeah. And then we can seamlessly adjust the angle here. Depending on the size of the TV. And here as well. And yeah. this can go to three times 55 inch TV. Yeah. And then we can extend the top part and we can put another fourth monitor on top. For chat. Maximum this size. Yeah, yeah. 34 inch. Yeah. Also, these are our own uh, monitors from Corsair. Oh, are they really? Yeah. Something oh. new this year. Oh, God. I didn't even realize they were doing monitors. There you go. And uh, they're, um, they're OLEDs. Wow. And uh, yeah, very, very high refresh rate, yeah, 240 that's... hertz. Oh, okay. This is lovely. I like the fact that you've, you know, you've got space for this. Yeah, yeah. You can clamp some, um, yeah. some streaming lights on there, whatever you like. I mean, this setup itself, that, that's a perfect setup, isn't it? Yes. That, that's everything you could want. Yes, and you can adjust the height of the monitors, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Those tubes in between. I think I prefer it in white as well. It's yeah, striking, isn't a it? A lot of people like the white it one. It is striking, yeah. Yeah. Mate, it's a real eye catcher when people come around the corner oh, here, God, they just yeah. stop yeah. and look at it. I guess because yeah. everything's white, like the, even the monitors. Yeah, white. yeah, it looks really, really yeah. cool. And the Any black news accents? on pricing? Pricing, unofficially. Yeah. Unofficially. <laughs> unofficially <laughs> um, we're looking at the frame, so basically the black frame. Yep. Without the um, the inverted mounts and the shift amount, yep. it's going to be around seven ninety nine US, right. and with the seat around nine ninety nine US. Yeah, that's really and cool. that'll include that monitor mount. What about something like this? This one, the pricing is not really fixed yet, but no. we're looking around five hundred US for yeah. the for the monitor stand yeah. itself. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah, I'm impressed. Thank you for talking to us. More than welcome. Happy and, uh, to do it. Yeah, we look look forward to seeing it on the market. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah.